What's going on guys? Louie here and I'm with my buddy Tom. What's going on guys? And today on the show we're going to be playing Are You Afraid of the Dark? The Game. So, let's get spooky together. This is Haunted Hangover. Released in 1995, Are You Afraid of the Dark? The Game allows you to become the newest member of the Midnight Society. Utilizing cards that provide tools and access to special passageways, your goal is to obtain six points to the six attributes in order to be initiated. Work your way through the board to some of the show's most popular locations while avoiding being sent to the pit and making it back to the campfire. All right, so Louie, mm -hmm. this game, as said on the box, is meant for eight and up. Yeah. But it's still targeted at a kid audience. Of this course. game came out in 1995. It is. It's an old game. At the peak <laughs> of the show. This isn't, by the way, this isn't a game that you can find, like, in Toys R Us. Well, Toys R Us is gone, too. This isn't a game you can no. just easily find on, like, Amazon. Uh, you could find it on eBay, but again, it is, what, 25 years old or something yeah. like that? Yeah, at this point. It's an antique buy. But the funny thing is, if... I did try to play this when I was eight years old, I would have given up. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. It's both simple and complicated yeah. at the same time. Yeah. The idea is simple. Get as many values and get to the back to the campsite. Yeah. But then there's maybe two simple of instructions that leaves a lot for interpretation. For me, one of the biggest complications I had while we were playing this was the attribute system. Yes. Where each location you would gain a certain amount of attributes. Now my problem is that there's not enough specific case scenarios that's yeah. mentioned in the instructions. So if there, if you have four attributes for knowledge, which is one of the attributes in the game, if you need to get to six, if you land on somewhere that has three, mm -hmm. can you not get that three? Or is it okay to go over six and just say that now you have six? Like, you know what I mean? That was the rule we made. Right? That we, we, yeah. we accepted it because we yeah. knew that if we made it so strict that you have to match six and have to roll for it, the game would take forever. On, honestly, looking back at it, like let's say we were eight years old or we mm -hmm. were kids, you would have to make that the rule that yeah. you can roll higher and, and, and get that number and get the points and get the values. But I think, honestly, if we played now as adults and we wanted to extend the game, sure. we could make it that strict yeah. and have that rule. I would do it, you know, if you yeah. wanted to extend the gameplay. And another problem I had is, unlike a game like Clue, which is very much mimics, there isn't so much incentive to utilize the external factors of the game, like the secret passages which each require a certain amount of tools, mm -hmm. and there's 18 tools in total, and you don't get that many tools unless you're very lucky. This mm -hmm. game's a lot of roll the dice, which the dice itself is a regular six-sided die, but one side has a black star, one side has a white star, and you're playing with fewer numbers, Yeah, which isn't a bad thing, but I think it could have been incorporated better. Yeah, it's, a less, it's less a chance to roll the number you want, yes. basically because they're taking two sides of it away. Yeah. The funny thing is like, I won the game we played. And you had no tools. And I had, no, I had tools, but I didn't utilize them. Yeah. And I, and I didn't, when I was playing specifically, I, I, I wasn't avoiding the secret passages, but I was just kind of, I was focusing on just getting to the locations that I needed that contained the value that I wanted. Yeah. You know? One chaotic element about the game that I really did like, that actually like, you had to do, it wasn't optional, is if you pull from the secret passage cards a skull, you get sent to the pit. Or you can send somebody else to the pit if you land on their spot, which is a really cool offensive tactic if they're winning, Louis. Yeah. Yeah. I was winning. <laughs> and the only way to get out is to roll the dice and get the white or black star, which the whole game you're getting them nonstop until you're in the pit. And, and honestly, I feel like that's the only aspect of the game that's kind of like horror themed or yeah. spooky. And it, it works because you want to avoid going there at all cost. It's kind of like the, what is it, the mud pit in Candyland? Is that? Yeah, the yeah. Mud, that's exactly what yeah, I forgot yeah, about yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly what it reminds me of. I don't know if the rules are the same, but that's essentially how it felt. But like, it is an integral part of the game. Yeah, you can it is. use it to your advantage. Like, there is more incentive to, to send someone to the pit. 
Because you're stuck there. Than to actually utilize the secret passageway so much. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. So one thing I got a kick out of, and I don't know yeah. if you even noticed it, was the password tool. Oh, I did. The, I love how a yeah. tool, <laughs> yes, a tool is an ear with a hand and someone whispering into it. Password. Exactly. I just don't know why I got a kick out of that. I was amused by it. I mean, speaking of a board game based off of the Are You Afraid of Dark franchise, Yes. it didn't really feel like I was playing at times Are You Afraid of the Dark, the game. Yeah, I wish they kind of added in, and I, again, that, I guess that was the point of the secret passage yeah. passages or secret passageway uh, cards, because when you do read them out loud, there are little stories that I think one of them I laughed at because it was like, what was it, Count Wackula? Count Wackula. <laughs> Go to his castle. So I, they do try to add that kind of like horror, spooky element to it with yeah. those, but if you're not focusing on that again... You're not really gonna. You're not gonna feel like you're playing a horror themed game. Yeah. You yeah. Have, you have the little uh, uh, campsite in the middle, and you have to make your way back there. You start there, and then you have to make your way back there yes. to win. Um, and all the locations, I think they even have like Zebo's haunted attraction or haunted house, which is Zebo's one of the, the the stories with the clown. Yeah. So there are references throughout the entire board. I wish that they maybe had. The board itself was a little more creative, like had little, maybe like actually have houses that you can go in and out yeah. of, you know, and because I know other board games that have that feature and they have, like they include that. Yeah. But with this one, it was a little more just kind of flat and boring. Mm -hmm. Now the gameplay itself was fun. Yeah, it was fun. But it didn't need, it, it being Are You Afraid of the Dark didn't matter. Yeah. All right, Tom, so what do you give Are You Afraid of the Dark the game? Well, to be honest, I had fun. We had a good time playing, but um, there was just too many loose ends in the instructions and the game was kind of uh, in the air and really if you just wanted to sit in one spot and try to collect as many attribute points as possible, that's really, mm -hmm. that's how you won the game. I mean, it's not a bad thing, it's just there's no incentive to do a lot more of the more chaotic things unless it's the pit. Of course. Yeah, so for me, I have to give it two. I had a good time playing it. Uh, it's an Are You Afraid of the Dark game, so I can't hate on it too much. Yeah. <laughs> um, I feel like if the game featured some more, just the actual board itself kind of had more elements that revolved around the show, yeah. I'd give it a higher you know, rating. But uh, I had a good time with it, and I won yes. the, <laughs> the round we played. Mm -hmm. So I give Are You Afraid of the Dark the game, three out of five pumpkins. Alright guys, so that's our review of Are You Afraid of the Dark the Game. Be sure to subscribe, follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Haunted Hangover, and remember, the best cure for a hangover is... More booze! Later guys.